I hate that I have to sit here though. This is what I was talking about. I might want to stand up sometimes, man, because I feel like I'm still, in, oh, I thought I go way out of frame. Right, you know? Yeah, that's what I don't like. <laughs> See, that's what make me uncomfortable of just sitting down, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dag, son, I ain't been on this YouTube screen in a minute. Don't yeah. forget your own, your own Instagram. Instagram? All right. We're doing it all, y'all, today. We're doing it all today. If y'all see this setup, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. YouTube, what's up? Salute. YouTube, what up? And I ain't reading what's in the building, the comments, that shit's hell. YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? Shout out to everybody on my YouTube followers that mess with Marcy May. What's good? And the thing I don't understand is I ain't got... Baines, this... Oh, shoot. I got the camera on you, bro. Hold on. <laughs> How do I turn that around? Okay, like that. I got to end that, bro. Got to end that. I'm sorry. What's up, YouTube? I'm about to get with y'all. Let me just get all this together. Thank you for coming. And nah, I'm not sharing. I'm deleting this. Oh, delete this video. Yeah, I did. I didn't do it right. Right, I had to turn it around, man. Guess what? I was filming you, bro. There we go. I was filming you. Your ring notification on somebody at your crib. Yeah. Positive energy, positive energy. What up, YouTube? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. See, I want to focus on both screens. How does that work? Okay. What that means is I'm looking at a YouTube. Uh, yeah, just, just right. focus so, on this. Focus on that one. Yeah, because the YouTube, the Instagram is more interactive right now. What up, Instagram? They said focus on y'all, but oh yeah, you'll get that with that camera. Yo, it's crazy setup over here. This is the next level of Marcy May. <laughs> this is the next level of Marcy May. Shout out to everybody in the building that's been supporting me from day one, man. That's what's up. Um, I'm gonna get to y'all too. Um, the shout outs, man. They don't want me to do that from the beginning. So, man, it's a lot of people I really want to mention. And got to mention, man, that I haven't been mentioning. I just want to thank y'all, first of all, man, foremost. Um, I've been off for a minute, off the radar, just, you know, sitting back, man. I had to get some rest and um, just sit back and shit because, you know, I, I ain't saying it's, it's, it's a success, but it seemed like when things started to get better for a while, you kind of step back and trying to analyze shit and make sure, is it really happening? And I had told y'all in the last live that, you know, Marcy May has manifested itself into what I seen it to be. And then, you know, like great things been happening for me. And um, so I took some time off because I wasn't getting rest. And when I say I wasn't getting you no know, rest, man, it's like, you gotta work hard for this, man. I want people to understand like this shit ain't no, this wasn't no, oh, this dude woke up and just tried to do this and do that. Nah, this is not what it is that you really have to put in the hard work um, to get what you want done, to be successful. You really need the supporters. You really need, like all of that comes together, but um, you have to put in the work. Um, and I'm talking four hours, five hours sleep a day and shit for a uh, time. And, and it pays off and, and it's showing that it's paying off. Um, from this time, this present time from when I took time off, I took the last two weeks off from the last uh, uh, post I did, just took time off to sit back and analyze how I want things to be now going into 2023. Because Marcy May going to be crazy in 2023. It's getting hot in here, man. We sit here celebrating. We got everything in here. We got Henny, White Henny. We, we good. We got my peoples in here and everybody happy. And I can't wait to get the whole team of Marcy May people that's behind the scenes that supported this, my day ones, 
Um, that shit is going to be dope. Um, we're planning that right now, like a brunch situation for everybody that got something to do with Marcy May. And, and I'm like, that's what's up. That's appreciation right there. Um, so that's what we were doing. Like from the time we've been off and the time I got back, man, we looking at what? Like my producer, like seven new networks that's picking us, picking up Marcy May documentary. You know what I'm saying? From Amazon and Tubi and Look You and you know, we getting reviewed on uh, Rotten Tomatoes and like, it's all love, bro. It's all positive energy. And that's what positive energy do. It make good things happen and shit. And I was trying to explain that to a friend about this is my new me right here. All positive. It's been that way. But now that I acknowledge that what that energy carries, I'm on a whole new wave now. If your energy level ain't on my level, I'm not fucking with you. You understand what I'm saying? If your energy level ain't on my level, I'm not fucking with you. And so that's why I find myself by myself a lot. You understand? That's why I find myself losing a few people that I've been around for a few minutes because I felt like the negative energy is more powerful because it'll drain what you have. You feel me? Negative energy is, is a lot more powerful because that should have drained what energy you have. So you have to be aware of, you know what I'm saying, the energy that come around you. You know what I'm saying? It used to always sound like gibberish to me in my ear about how people be like, nah, energy, my energy. And it, and it really is real. You know what I'm saying? The more higher, the more things that's been positive happening for Marcy May and the more energy it's giving me more energy. And when I say more energy, the haters that make this shit happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me break this down to you. The haters put in a lot of energy. The haters put in more support than the people that you think support you. I'll break this down to you now. Understand what I'm going to tell you, all right? The haters put in more energy to support what you have going on than the people that know you. I know that seemed jungled up, but the haters are the one that sit there and watch you do what you do and go back on the street and be like, man, this nigga talking this, this, this nigga, this nigga, he is actually sharing and talking about and creating content for you out there in the streets. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get, understand what I'm saying though, for real. That's the haters and I love them, man, because like I said, they the ones who fuel my tank. Those the ones who fuel my energy and my positive energy because, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna always win over them, period. And that's just what they do. I appreciate them. And I tell you, like, if if any haters are in here now, I appreciate you guys. I I, I would hope that you you can, if, if you guys can get more friends and, and invite more follower hater guys, people to this, to my channel and to my movement, I would appreciate it because y'all make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, y'all make this shit happen. And to my friends that support, man, let me explain to you. That's what I mean about support. You know, support ain't just, yo, I wore your t-shirt, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I bought one of your t-shirts and shit, I support it's your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's good and all, man. And, and, and I appreciate that. And, and I guess the person that you purchased it from appreciated it. But the support comes from where that shit proud. You understand what I'm saying? You bought this shirt off your man. This is his logo. Yo, this is my man. Look, this is my people's shit. City of Gods. No doubt. I support they shit. I talk about they shit. You understand? The quality is beautiful. The, the shirt, the design, everything. You feel me? So it's a different kind of support when you trying to support your peoples. You know what I'm saying? When you supporting your peoples, it's something to talk about in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see one of my homeboys said, yo, I watched Marcy May, man. It was dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit was it's real. You know, facts. You speak facts. Okay. Um, but he didn't carry that same energy when he was like watching Wu Tang. Like, yo, you see that Wu Tang shit, bro? That shit was banging. And that he out in the street, he talking about it, he engaging about it. Boom, boom, boom. He supporting them. You understand? And sharing it. It's this. It don't. 
you know, a lot of people don't know how to support nowadays, you know what I'm saying? And and I just say that to say, you know what I mean? You know, I appreciate the support, but my my other supporters, this is how you support when you're talking about Marcy Mane. You know what I'm saying? When you're like, yo, you see my man shit is, is facts, man. You got to check it out. Uh, opposed from the haters are like over there, like they in the street advocate. I mean, that nigga's a sucker. That nigga's a sucker, man. And that nigga's, that's, that's the energy. That's the, that nigga supporting your shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to touch on that situation about, you know, support and how it, how it works, but it's been great for us. Um, the next opportunity for us is actually to be filming. You know what I'm saying? We still working on the documentary, the series, we still doing, doing the script, you know, all, all of this has just been positive, man. And that's just what kind of energy I'm gonna have with this situation. And then I had, um, with this DJ Cali, shout out to Cali, shout out to JC with the with the verses like this nigga speak that shit like Nat Turner or some shit. You feel me? A lot of people be like, well, what the yo? What my numbers do when this dude have something to say, be a part of it. A lot of people be like, I mean, what the fuck? You, you, you riding this, you like, what does that have to do with you? Or yo, this guy did shit. I right. my numbers go up. You understand? My numbers went up, bro. I, I appreciate that, man, because like that shit does have a lot to do with what Marcy made is about. You know what I'm saying them lyrics, them bars, and everything that he says has a lot to do with, with uh what Marcy made is about, it, it coincides with it. So when he talk about, uh, you know, like I said, when he talk about them pots and them streets, bro, that's us. That's us. When Cali sit there, man, I'm sitting there doing, watching this interview and he like, they ain't believe, they ain't believe. I'm saying to myself the same shit. Them niggas ain't believe, bro. They ain't believe in me. They ain't believe I was gonna get them around that trial. They ain't believe. They just knew I was gonna get life in prison. They ain't believe. The lawyer that was trying to sell me out, he ain't believe. But God did, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I fuck with Khaled, man. For real, that whole wave, I'ma ride that shit, you feel me? Yeah, God did. Because I was a bunch of niggas out there, a bunch of people that was hating on me that didn't believe. And look where we at now, bro, with Marcy May, they ain't believe. Bands, they ain't believe. You know what I'm saying? Believe now, you know what I'm saying? Believe now, they ain't believe. And it's gonna be a lot more people that's not gonna believe. But I'm here and Marcy May doing everything that it's supposed to do and I'm, I, I'm just blessed. I love this shit, man. I love, I love talking about it. I love, uh, you know, the comments about it and I love the support that I get on this. You know what I'm saying? So when people talk about that, and I, I, you know, what that has to do with it, it has a lot to do with it, man. Because when you sit here and the people that I'm around and the people that's a part of my life, this nigga in so many ways, like when he say, it don't feel real to us, right? Like it don't feel real to us. This whole movement don't feel real. This story don't feel real. Some of the people be like, yo, son, this shit don't even feel real. You know what I'm saying? How close and tight and how, how y'all used to rock, that shit don't feel real. You could take that in so many different ways. Cause that shit don't feel real to me on how this whole situation fold out. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of powerful shit said in those verses, man. And, and I'm going to eat from that. You know what I'm saying? That's us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like I said, if Emery did 10 for that, what I do? You understand? I don't preach on the game no more and all that because that shit is over. But at the end of the day, there's no reward from that. I keep going back and forth, back and forth. So like, it's all good with Marcy made, you know what I'm saying? And that's where we at with this. That's where we at with this, bro. And it's a pleasure to 
to be back on this, back on this, on, on YouTube. I lost my followers, man. We got so much to come now. We sitting here, we had a whole discussion today, a meeting about Marcy made the, the like chronicle type of shit. Like how this shit about the fold Trenton. Trenton, man, we about to blow some shit on y'all. At the end of the day, we about to blow some shit up for Trenton. Um, this is going to be like, we just got a whole bunch of stuff going on, man. 2023, it's positive shit, man. It's getting money. It's getting money. It's, it's spreading love. It's, it's positive shit, man. We got so much positive going on. Like, I know we are in a, living in a world right now outside of this. And, and what's going on is in the streets. Nah, we staying positive with this, period. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have time to be into the, the negative situations that's going on. I'm not going to be on here talking about, I just don't see me, man, doing this, man. Like, come, being on here, being a newscaster, talking about every little story, talking about this. That's just not me. My movement is Marcy May, period, and we working on the series. No, huh? Oh, and OG certified, man. Like, we got business. We got work going on. We got work going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, looking forward to, man, just just, this just, just the all of, man. Just looking forward to number of positive things, man. I need y'all to keep sharing Marcy May. Shout out to Tubi TV, man. Like, it, it, it's been an honor with that, man. It's been an honor of dealing with them because look where we at now, man. We getting seen all over the world. And I appreciate everybody that's, in, that's, that's down with this. But we great push this shit to another level for for 2023. We ain't playing, bro. No. I had some notes I wanted to say. Let me see. And they got some people to shout it out because my phone been ringing since then, man. A lot of my folks are feeling like, um, let me say, like, I left you out. Like, I don't talk about y'all enough or I haven't mentioned y'all, right? Like, that's why I said this thing I got coming up next month is for you guys, man, for everybody that's been there for day and one. Um, you know, even down to how to, how, am, how, how is Marcy May going to help you guys out now next too, man? Like, you know what I mean? I ain't forget you guys, man. It, it's just work that I have to put in, man. It's just more work that I have to put in. I ain't gonna be happy until I feel like the people that supported me from day one until I, and the niggas that helped me out, the niggas that put bread up behind this, like, that's why I work so hard, man. To take care of people that I need, that took care of me, that believed in me. And then the funny shit it is that, I was sitting there watching Dame Dash about that a couple of weeks ago and he said something about, man, I ain't got no money, I'm broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga, he said, I, you know, I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I spend all my money on my peoples. And, and it's funny that right now I'm in a position where I feel the same way. Like Marcy Maid is doing good. Marcy Maid is prospering. Marcy Maid is making money, but I ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm choosing to spend my money on my folks, man. I'm choosing the money that I get and re keep re recoup from this. I spend on my folks. This is the re-up for me. I enjoy paying them or taking care of the people that's taking care of me, seeing them happy, seeing them feed their families, and I get my shit on the back end. Because that's that, that accumulates who you are and your character and your trust. I'm going to stay broke for now. That's cool. I see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of feel that what Dane was saying. Like ever since Mar the, 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 the better Marcy May been doing the broke I've been because I'm willing to put every fucking dime into this. Into what I believe in. I know that this shit is real, man. We 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 going full force with this. We ain't playing no game. So those who around me, those who associate with me, they know what it is. It, you know what I'm saying? Either we're going to be looking to do big business or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't on my level. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking to a, 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 some certain platforms lately and shit, and I was sitting back like, I ain't doing a lot of major platforms and shit. For what reason? It's a lot of platforms. Like, you go through my 
chats and shit. You see people like, yo, why you ain't on Mad Hoffa or Queens Flips and this and that, this and that. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of uh, gilly, a uh, million dollars worth of game and all of this. Drink champs. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. You got to ask yourself that. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask yourself a lot of platforms that have been avoiding me. And I'm cool with that. Shout out to the platforms that did take me on. I appreciate that. That's why I sit there and I'll be like, you know, after I've done business with certain platforms and interviews, I make sure that I always say, yo, I see you at the top. Because I already know where I'm going. And if you continue doing what you need to do, we're going to see each other again. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas will never ever say that they ain't made money with me. Any platform that you ever seen me on, they, they can't tell you they ain't made money for me. Boy. Period, man. I'm about my business, man. So that's where we at with Marcy made on positive situations, man, and on everything, man. Um, um, and that's just what it is, man. I appreciate being back. We got new content coming. Right? This is gonna be some new Marcy made stories man a lot of people talking about my stories they um what happened to 444 stories man um they enjoyed hearing them they enjoyed talking about them well actually man what's going on with 444 stories is man we trying to put that shit to film to trying to put that shit on the screen for you you know what i mean um so that's what we're doing with that yeah yeah. So basically, that's what this was about, man. It's, it's great to be back on here, man. Especially with my YouTube, man. I'm gonna be feeling this whole. I'm be feeling this for a minute now. I'm back with YouTube. Um, we gonna get these numbers up because I got some dope ass stories coming. Other than that, man. Thank y'all for posting up. Uh, what else I wanted to address? I address with. What that song did for Marcy May, man, I don't know. Like, every time, shout out to them. Um, oh, that's what we was going to do. We was going to take a few questions after I finish addressing all of that, man, or where we doing and how we doing. I appreciate it, you guys. If y'all keep sharing, um, keep sharing the stories. Keep sharing it, man. Um, keep watching documentary, man. It's dope. Um, and, and this is, and I appreciate it, man especially my day ones, because the ones who paid early on for Marcy made, the ones who saw Marcy made on doc, on um, Amazon, and the ones who still paying, man, I love you guys, man, because this is where, this is this, where I'm at now and where I'm headed now, this is what y'all did for me. Where I'm at now and where I'm heading, this is what y'all did for me, and I appreciate that shit to the fullest. Y'all got me to be able to give this shit away for free. That's next level. And I appreciate you guys like that. that. That's why I say the support here and the love here that I've been getting, man, I definitely love it. And it keep me energized. Um, the merch is coming. Like, I got some crazy merchandise coming, man. So um, please look forward to that, man. Um, it's going to be some dope content shirts where you're going to be a proud, you're going to be something proud that you're going to want to wear. And, um, you know, and that's just what's it, man. Um, I was going to go into a bunch of questions that people ask me about industry shit. You feel me? And I'm not really, I try to stay out of that industry shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so I try to, I'm trying to change this whole shit and revamp Marcy May for 2023 and give y'all something new. Like I say, I, I, y'all crazy if y'all think I ran out of content. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't want to hear nothing about what the, I think about the industry and yo know, who Kanye doing and why Mason puffing like um I ain't saying that they shit is not real but I just say that you know I ain't following them niggas that ain't really checking for us cuz they ain't thinking about us and then there's a lot of them niggas that don't even live in the city that have a lot of say so that go on in New York City see that's a whole nother subject that I find bugged out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas run, the, the people that so-called run New York City don't even live here. Man. That, that shit is bugged out to me. 
that shit is bugged out. It, it's never been like that. It, I don't even understand that. But so what we are going to do, right, what I said, like, I'm going to take the top five questions from people that have been on here from the time that I've been on here. Right? I'm going to take the top five questions and um, we rock out with that because these must have been the, these must have been questions that stood out on this whole time that I've been talking and shit. And, I, and some of this spews to my Instagram page too. So one of the questions would be, what you got? All right, first question we got, why are you so mad? Why am I so mad? Why am I so mad? I just finished talking about how my energy level is, right? I just finished talking about like, I don't, I don't even let nobody get me mad, dead ass. Like if you walking around these streets, right? And you know what I learned that from? I learned that from prison. If I'm mad at something or I'm mad at something, I'm staying in the cell, I'm not coming out because you're not gonna end up coming back, period. That's where I learned that from. Like, I'm not mad, I, and, I, and I've been mad before. I've been past mad before, and you ain't seen that shit before, but that is not a good place, and that's not no good energy. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't mad about anything, man. Um, mad to get you nowhere. Mad to get you so unfocused, it'll destroy a whole, a whole line of things ahead of you if you mad about anything. You can get upset and, and let it go by, but you know, I, I can't understand why you ask me. Do I look mad? Does any of the videos in the past look like I'm mad? You know, I'm, I'm not mad at all. Actually, I'm, I'm good. Like I said, I just sent this telling you I'm positive and that's just what kind of energy I have. I let no one steal that at this moment. No one. No one, you feel me? So that's what it is. Um, a lot of people ask me, am I mad? I'm not asking, are you mad? Because I'm in the position I'm in. That's what I'm looking at. Because where do you see me off as being mad? You know what I'm saying? And what was that next one? What you got with that one? All right, next question. How do you feel about making your name off of someone, someone else's name? How I feel about coming up off a of next nigga name? Like I'm hustling off the next nigga name. How do I feel about coming up off another nigga? What's wrong with that? <laughs> what's wrong with it? Like, them niggas been doing it all their lives. Like, what's the problem? I'm just telling, I'm just telling my story, but how am I? I'm coming up off the next man. Like, because if if I am doing that, what's wrong with that? Niggas do it all the time. Niggas been doing it. When he was mentioned, De Haven introduced me to the game. When he was mentioned, Gil changed my life up. When he be mentioned, when people mention other niggas' name that's relevant to show a attachment to that name, isn't that coming up off the next man's name? Yo, son, it's just like y'all try to hate on me. See that when people ask me questions like that, it's like, you trying to hate on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, really? Like, so you, what was he doing when he was saying my name, when he was mentioning my name? It was just what, a shout out? That's not a shout out. Those are niggas, they mention people's name to make them relevant. Some of the people name that they mentioned that probably never breathed over the top of these niggas. You feel me? So I, I don't have no problem, man. That, that's, that's, I don't have a problem. If you want to say I'm coming up off the next man, then say it, bro. Then I don't have no problem with it. It's not one on. Shout out to Monique in the building. <laughs> What's up? Always on deck, man. Um, I can't wait till this Marcy made brunch, man, so everybody can meet each other. Shout out to T Monique. That's always in the building, man. If y'all got any legal problems, y'all have any A and R type of situations and it needs, so she in the building. Shout out to Monique. I had to do that personally. Um, so with that said, being said, man, I, that ain't, you know, I ain't hating on that. 
But if a nigga want to use him, I'm using his name, then you say I'm coming up, then I'll take the check. What the hell? I don't heard niggas come over there to me and tell me, and say, yo, ain't you the nigga that uh, used to hang with Jay-Z? The back, the whole story is backwards. But hey, he came, that, that shows, hey, he came up off of me. Nah, come on. What you got, Baines? What's important to you, man? Because my producer be writing shit down like, nah, this is important, man. They want to know this. They always asking this. Um, like, they want to know. Your mother, she plays a major role in your documentary. What is your relationship with her then? Like, what is your relationship like with her? Oh, mama, love. Come on, man. If you've seen the documentary, she's like the, she's the center. She's the nucleus of this. She's the center of this. Um, me and my mom still have the same relationship, bro. I'm still the baby boy. And that ain't going to never change until, you know, she's gone. Um. I think that my mom's right. She feel much better that I'm doing Marcy May from this point, from this point, from, from the, the, she feels so much better that she know that I'm doing this shit from the heart, from my story, from my heart. Like this is what I want to do for my heart and there's no anger. I think when my mom's first saw my YouTube exposed shit and saw me that angry. Um, she had a different look at things. It's like, you know what I'm saying? She saw me at a different point in the stage in my life of, of anger and rage and hate. She wasn't really happy with that. But at this point when she see like, yo, okay, he doing this in, uh, with integrity and how I taught him how to be a stand up guy and you know play by the rules, all the shit she taught me, she see me coming from a different perspective and a different heart with this. Um, and it just was something that I wanted to do, opposed from, oh, wanting to do something to do something just to make somebody else hurt type of situation. Now, you know, now that she fully understands and shit, I think that um, she proud of me. And, and that's what I always wanted to do for my moms. And the other flip side of this is like, like I'm doing this for my moms and shit. Like if it was just some nigga street shit that I probably would have let it go. You know what I'm saying? But I think about what my moms played. If you see Marcy May, you see the part she played in, 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 in all this. So you can understand, like, you know what I'm saying? The sacrifice that my mom's made, and that's just mama love. And that's just what we, we boys gonna do for mama love and shit. So, but I, my relationship is, I'm still, I still, I'm still a baby. Uh, she's still my, uh, run my life and shit, you know what I mean? But um, she proud of me and that's what mean the world to me, period. You feel me? So that was a good question. I appreciate that one. I don't know where it came from, but uh, what's up, man? Uh, all right, next question. What's your mindset now after feuding with Jay-Z for almost 25 years? What's my mindset? Oh, my mindset for this 25-year-old beef with Jay-Z. Where, where's my mind at right now? It's business, man. <laughs> this is business, man. It ain't personal. This is business, man. And if you understand any business, man, this is business, man. Don't you understand? His words. Um, I'm at a good. My mind is. It's just strictly business, man. It's no nothing else other than you know what they doing. You know what I mean? Um, business integrity, man. That's it, man. I'm just trying to. <laughs> it's not nothing different. My mind is good, man. I'm focused. Um, and it's funny that I use a lot of. I use a lot of. Uh, stuff that I learned from being around him. It's just business. I use a lot of stuff that he used on me as business, man. Um, my mindset is sharp now, period. Like, you know what I mean? I learned from the best <laughs> and still learning. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, it's always good. It's always good. All right, this is the last one we got. At the time you were hustling, who was just as important in your life as Jay was? Time I was hustling, who was in just as important as Jay was? 
when we was hustling, who was just as important as Jay was? My producer said Panama. Buzz. Yeah, see, it ain't one person. Man. You know what I'm saying? As a team, as a unit, we was. So who is just as important as Jay was? Wow. East Trenton groomed us. Who was just as important as Jay was? Wow. Um, and, and yeah, you said it. Like, I can't really, because um, it has to be Panama. Shout out to Panama. And rest in peace, Bugs. It has to be them. Because, I, I mean, I, I run around and say all day, it would be no Jay if it wasn't for me. It would be no Jay if it wasn't for me. But it would be no me if it wasn't for Panama and it wasn't for Bugs. So all of those, all those ingredients, man, that turned out, that gave Jay the vision to give you for reasonable doubt. Or Andy Moore said, "You get what I'm saying? Emery was just as important to a guy named Andy Moore. No, Emery ain't play shit to the end of the shit. Emery ain't play shit, and he ain't play a role to where it started. So he's not there yet." You know what I'm saying? He's not there yet. Henry, Henry wasn't there yet. I couldn't. I can't include him. But it's definitely Jay in Panama, man. That's a good question, man. Because Jay would have no story to tell without them. Who was just as important to Jay at that time? Who was just important to Jay at that time? Other than me. Who was important to Jay at that time? It's a hard question to answer with the choices that where Jay made now, right? Who was important in his life? I would say like when I got shot and was in the hospital, if he was the way he re rebuilt the operation, would I say that was important? Was I important to him? Or that was just something he had approved to show me? I don't know who was important to him. Like, because later down the line, the way things carried out, I don't know if I was that important. I just don't know his rhymes, yo. His rhymes. <laughs> that's, that, that's the little fucking pieces of paper in his pocket. <laughs> the fucking matchbooks that used to be on the crib that he write on little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see, like, that would be important to him if you came home and you ripped up his book and that nigga, like, yo, you ripped my book up type of shit. That was important to him. His rhymes. Yeah, that, that, that I mean, that's what I can say. I want to interject because when you mentioned something about Emory, this person, Andy Moore said that you're wild on this podcast, acting like Emory didn't run y'all down Easton and Cambridge. Emory ain't run shit wild down in Easton and Cambridge, bro. How's that? When I discovered when, when I discovered Emory, that's when Emory became a name. You understand what I'm saying? Get this right. When I met Emory and put Emory on, then he became a name. Then he was able to travel to other, uh, travel to Salisbury and travel over to East End and travel to these other places after Emory met me. So how did Emory run me there? Nah, bro, he, he, talking, he, he ain't talking facts, man. I don't know. He might be a paper planes of 
customer or something like that. But that ain't facts, man. Come on, son. Ask niggas over in Salisbury. Go over to Salisbury. Ask niggas in Salisbury, man. Was Emery coming over there before the Haven? Did y'all know uh, Emery before before the Haven got down there? Ask them niggas. Only reason why they knew him in Easton was through sports. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about created a name for a nigga. Come on, man. Um, also, just for um, Jay Rich, um, somebody asked, do you drink Duce? <laughs> nah, bro, hell no. Let's just see sponsored by DSOP Henny, <laughs> right? You see this? This top shelf, bro. This is what we drink over here, top shelf. And then you got, you know, you got my little Allen boy here and shit, and he drinks this, white right? Henny. Like, nah, I ain't shitting on Duce, but you know what I'm saying? But nah, bro, we, um, we do the other shit. Also, from the YouTube, um, Orandi Stokes asked, why don't you link up with Al Prophet? He's on Jay's head now. Um, yo, bro, I ain't out to, that's not my story. I'm not out to, you know, Al Prophet, well, Al Prophet, I understand where he going with it, right? I get what he's saying. He, he addressing some true facts and shit. The same facts that I always addressed it, man, but that's not the, that's not the train I'm riding. For what? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the train I'm riding because these ain't the same niggas that's going to honor what you saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm down, listen to me, it's factual facts what the man is speaking and I fucks with him when he comes to his research on that rock nation and, and that, them people who he, who he talked about, right? But that's just not, that's not the wave that I'm riding. You know what I'm saying? That's not the wave that I'm riding because um, these niggas ain't going, they niggas don't want to hear it. This new generation ain't listening to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, th that's the last thing that they listening to, bro. Um, they made it, uh, you know, just plain and simple. I mean, pretty much, uh, like I said, I fuck with our prophet, man. He speak facts when it comes to this rock nation shit, but that's not the wave that I'm riding. That's not part of um, my story at this moment. That's not part of the story of where I got. You know, it intertwines. If you really look into my story, it do coincides with what he's saying, but that's just not what I'm, um, not the wave I'm riding right now. Um, period, you know. Awesome. Do you want to address this? What is it? I can't read it, man. You know my shit is. I don't want to say because um, this is. Um, you can't. He, he already asked a question about it. And I want to. Ain't nothing else. What did what it be? Uh, he said that how. Uh, Somebody said that Emory and Jay used to get robbed out of nursery in Cambridge. Headache was in the corner. Stop it. And they said he was there. Emory and Jay used to get robbed where? Out of, out of nursery. Out of nursery. In Cambridge. And headache was in the corner. Stop it. And I was on a corner. In the corner. Stop it. Oh. Nah, that's a hater, yo. Tell him I appreciate him, man. He, he's so far off. You know what I'm saying? That's a hater. I appreciate him, man. Keep following me. Keep spreading that. Well, whatever you're saying right there, keep spreading that and tell him to go watch Marcy Made and everything. I appreciate that. Because there's nothing factual about what he's saying there. You know what I'm saying? Period. The only facts that he could tell you that yeah, we definitely was out on that corner. I definitely was in them trenches out there. But other than that, man, you know, he's doing some hating. Okay. You see the energy I keep, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, People will try your to steal your energy from you and shit um, from all levels. Um, this is just what they do. And some people create their own shit, the stories in their head of like, you know, these dudes get robbed and shit like that. Nah, bro. Like that shit wasn't that shit wasn't happening over there. And um, just for another Miss Parker wants you back on Doggy, on Doggy Diamonds. Shout out to Doggy Diamonds, man. Doggy Diamonds, man. Um <laughs> yeah, he's a good dude to me, man. Um, he covers some good content. Um, he he definitely, I definitely made money with him. Um, yeah, shout out to Doggy Diamonds, Hip Hop Uncensored, Vlad, um, Choke No Joke, Cam, um, Cam Capone. Like, yo, bro, like I put in work. Like, this shit is not no overnight shit. You know, it's people that's that got decent platforms that really fuck with Marcy May. 
You know what I'm saying? Period, man. So shout out to those who've been supporting them. And you see the hate that go here, man. Did I? I ain't this whole hour probably that I've been talking, bro. I ain't got no hate in me, man. We it's all love. And the only thing that's been hate is actually is, like I said, those are the supporters that I look forward to. Um, but what we got coming next, man. If, you, if y'all hating on this, what we got coming next, man. Y'all gonna have to put y'all foot on the pedal. You feel me? Y'all have to put y'all foot on the pedal. Straight like this, and I owe it to y'all anyway for getting us to where we need to be. Shout out to you for the questions. Y'all got something dope, you know, like the like like the last questions. I like them questions. Like I like it like this because um, it's off script, man. Um, and I'm one more. I mean, I know the answer to this, but your viewers probably don't. But um, Marcus Williams asked, "Would you have a sit down with Dane?" Marcus Williams asked, "Sit down with Dane." Of course, man. Like, if I'm sitting here telling you, like, man, my energy, like, anything is possible when two niggas ready to sit down and have a conversation. Have a conversation, bro. I mean, it don't be, listen to me, right? It don't be us, bro. It don't be us. It be them who talk like they, oh, black excellence together, black brothers, we should black this, this, and that. Like, yo, bro, we've been rocking Marcy May for a minute now independently, and them niggas ain't holler at us not one time, period. Them niggas ain't come over and say, yo, you know what, son, I like what you got going on. Um, can I use Dane for some consulting? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I can use them. But you think, you know, egos be on the line. I ain't with that shit, bro. I, 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 we do this shit ourselves before we have to keep kissing. We ain't kissing ass over here. That's not who we are. But it be them, bro. I like, we, we, we reachable. We reachable. Of course I would be ready to sit down with Dame. I mean, we had our differences. I, I'm good with it, you know what I'm saying? But don't fake a move like I don't exist, bro. Don't fake a move like I ain't done nothing for you, bro. Don't fake a move like I ain't a major part of how Rockefeller got built. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's all I'm saying. Don't do that. Please don't do that. So, you know, and I ain't mad at that shit, man. But it, like when people ask me, yo, won't you get with this one and this one? Man, they see what's going on over here, man. They see what's going on over here. It is either two things. They know I'm not going to cooperate with some of the shit that they got over there going on, or they just faking. But one thing for sure, man, you're not stopping Marcy May for going with in the direction where it's supposed to be going. And that's just what God did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. Shout out to that. That's just what God did. You know what I mean? Period. Another question. They ain't believe. Was OG1 your connect before Jay-Z connect? I don't listen to me right. I don't know OG1. I've never met OG1. I've only, I, there's nothing I know about that man. Period. I have no, I have no, only Harlem nigga that I was talking to that I was dealing with was Dane. And that was on the strength of Jay. Period. That's it. I, I don't know the, 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 the new people that came involved into that situation. I don't. So that's a good question. And I'm glad I answered that. Like we have no affiliations with, just think about it. Like if I knew him, if we met, like a lot of shit wouldn't be uh, like, this shit would have never happened, like, period. Like, you know, so now nah, I don't know none of them. And I appreciate y'all, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I just wanted to make sure that I, Tap into my YouTube, man. We've started doing my lives back on you guys, man. I thank you for your support, for being here. Share this. Share this. Share this, man. This is how the love and support is about. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out. Happy birthday, Bando. G-Ball. Bando. G-Ball. We was on the fucking yard together. Happy birthday, man. I'm so proud you out here on these streets and you're going to be out here. Baltimore. I wish I could be in Baltimore right now. Shout out uh, G-Ball. Uh, happy birthday, my nigga. Um, Delaware, yo. Mike. <laughs> yo. 
Yo, you already know. Uh, you already know what it is. Primo, everybody, yo, look forward to this brunch, man. Um, it's gonna be dope, man. I'm gonna be able to really appreciate show you my appreciation for everything if y'all done. Um, this a, this a dinner is gonna be really dope. So it's so many other people. Dre, what up, North Carolina? What's what it do? Huh? Rochester's in the building. Rochester? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Rochester. <laughs> but this is gonna be dope, man. I can't forget. I, I I refuse to leave anybody out, man. Like end of the day, like I said. I, I'll stay broke, man, just to make sure everybody that supported me is getting what is due to them and, and showing that I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate it. So look forward to that next month, man. We, I'm putting that together. You know who you are if I ain't mentioned you. Like I said, um, so what we got going on, like I said, for Trenton, it's going on. For Delaware, it's going on. For Maryland, and it's going on for North Carolina. So be looking forward to that, man. This that's gonna be the dopest content. Like you ain't like I can't write in my life right now. I'm not writing my life right now. When I'm sitting here and tell you these stories of what I witnessed and what I've been through from NY all the way to Charlotte, North Carolina, man. These stories gonna be dope, man. About some ups and downs, man. But it's gonna be so funny stories, man. You already know, if you know the type of money that I was getting, you know I was having fun. So I got some dope, dope stories, man, um, before and after Jay-Z, during Jay-Z. These stories going to be dope. 444 is coming back on a whole new steroid with these stories. And we're going to be taking this shit to a whole new level. Like I said, um, Audible, um, writing a lot of people, yo, T. Monique and a couple of other people, um, Bando, um, I and a lot of other people, man, been getting on me about this book, this prolonged book for 20 years. 2023, tell it all. <laughs> it's coming. Like, a lot of my audience know, man, like, I don't hell, you know, we be holding shit back, but that's going to be a tell-all. That's going to be a tell-all to where now, I mean, I'm going to let it all out, the bad one. Feelings and all, even though in, you know, some of the mistakes I made that could have caused some of the situations that where we at now, you know what I'm saying? That I don't mention much because I felt like the little things that, the little cho bad choices that I made, I don't think niggas should have took it to the fullest of this, this thing, you get what I'm saying? And I kind of go into that, like some of the bad choices. I think that was bad choices, but I don't think I deserve this of uh, the outcome of how they char how they you know looked at me from the, the, a different point. So you know, once again, I appreciate y'all, man. Yo, YouTube um, is peace. Yo, Instagram, y'all always been with me from day one. We about to chop all this up, man, and get on um, to the next level. I don't know. I'm gonna see y'all next week. Next week, I might have a throwback story for you guys. T Monique saying, not something, man. I can't read it. What'd she say? No, she's talking to some dude. Oh, she always, yo, she, yo, y'all better leave her alone, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, a lot of y'all niggas that be heckling in the audience and shit, y'all better leave her alone. Like, you don't know her, uh, her nickname is, is Gangster. Like, pre, is pretty gangster. Y'all better leave her alone. Because she in, she in deep. But uh, I right, yo, I appreciate you all. Shout out to my Instagram followers. Like shit is popping. We in the city tonight. It's fight night. It's a lot of shit going on. Um, I see y'all. Um, and shout out to my show. Shout out to the security. And when I say security, I'ma say this again. Shout out to security. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Shout out to the security that work these fucking clubs, these doors that fucking recognize, man. My OGs, most of the niggas that run this city, the security that's at these doors are niggas that really know who, know what's what and know who's who. I appreciate you guys, man. And like, I've never, I don't like, I'm trying to do something special when, for you guys, man, when, uh, when I see y'all, when, when y'all see y'all and y'all recognize who, what is what, man, and y'all give me that respect, man. I'm trying to have some kind of, 
something for y'all, man. So I got shout out to the security in New York and everywhere that show me love when I walk up there and they know who the fuck I am. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because these young promoters and shit, you know, I know they don't really care, but they need to care. <laughs> you understand? So shout out to my security in New York and all the spots, man, that be showing me love, man, and know, you know, let them know who I am. And I appreciate that. And um, it is what it is. Um, where we at next week? Um, like I said, man, we planning a date for Trenton, man. Trenton, be ready for this. No lie, Trenton, be ready for this. This is this is gonna be the first of one of the best fucking um, sort of like the best chronicles we can ready to put out. So I'm out, man, and peace. Shout out OG Certified, showed out Industry Labs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to talk about Marcy May. Like I said, share Marcy May, man. Keep, like I said, look, y'all keep, the more y'all share that, the more people picking us up. Like I said, at this point, man, there's like 10 different networks that's rocking with us. Momentum. Look who. Nuclear. Nuclear. That's a new one that's not, that didn't start yet. That starts November. It's a whole new streaming service worldwide. <sighs> that's new. That's on um, Big Pizza Marcy made. This is this is all God did. You know what I mean? There's some channels that we took it off of because it didn't match our strategies. But a lot of channels pick up Marcy made. All right. And... Yo, OG certified. OG certified, man. We still back in effect, man. We ain't, we ain't letting none of that. We got work to do. But I tell you, 2023 is like a whole different. Y'all got to tap into OG certified. So if you want to know more aspects of the Haven, that's not the street aspect. Y'all yeah. got to tap into OG certified. Oh, yeah. Really that's, the, that's the interview coming up. Yo, I got an interview coming up, man, where I think y'all really won't like this one, man, because this shit is like a lot more in-depth about who I am as a person. I, I kind of like where this is going. You know, when people talk about, yo, well, you know, you talking about this when you talking about that, like, we want to know what you and how you and where you and shit go. This is particularly all about me. I think that's gonna be dope. Right, and OG Certified is a work in progress. So if y'all have any ideas, y'all have any, you know, thoughts, suggestions, how to make it better, you know, DM the Haven. You hear that, right? You know, he, you know, my producer, he's stuck on OG certified. That's his baby. You know what I mean? And I want to run with that. <laughs> That's his baby right there. So, yo, let's yo tune in. To, um, definitely follow me on OG certified, man. I'm going to start popping off on all of this. Like I said, it's just hard work, man. When y'all don't see me for weeks, man, don't think that, oh, man, I'm, I'm always working, man. Like, down to five hours sleep a day. Uh, I'm I'm getting it in when y'all sleep and uh, you know shit got to be done, and I'm out here supporting other people's shit. So at the same time, man, it's, it's just it is what it is. But keep that positive energy all the time. Remember what I just said, man. Don't let nobody steal that positive energy from you, man. Just keep your shit on on high, positive level on high all the time, man. And that shit going to bring more energy and more positive shit around you. You know what I'm saying? Don't even focus on none of that shit outside. I try not to watch the news because that shit will throw your energy off. Anything that's to throw, that you know that throw your shit off, man, just avoid it, man. You know what I'm saying? Jump on my line. Hit me in the DM. Yo, son, I was out here, man. I ain't with none of that energy they talking right now. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always, I, I be, I, I just don't get no sleep. So I appreciate y'all, man. It's all love. Um, um, appreciate y'all. It's all love, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Man, I'll give y'all a heads up on what's going on, and, and I'm out. Damn, I forgot that I was doing that show shit. Man, they know who you are, man. Like, well, not yet, because you want to edit some, right? Do you wish to stop me? Yes. yes. Now, you don't want